Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is Amazon's Fire HD 8 tablet, the 2020 version that came out in June of 2020. And out of the box, it does not support Google Play or uh, any apps from the Google Play Store like Gmail or Chrome or Google Maps, but it's fairly easy to install those. And I'm just going to show you in this video real quickly how you can do that. So the first thing you need to do is open the settings menu, go to security and privacy, Scroll down until you find apps from unknown sources. Select the Silk browser and say that you want to allow from this source. And what this allows you to do is download apps using the web browser and then install them from the web browser. So once that's done, the next step is to open the Silk web browser and we're going to download four different files. Now, in this case, it uh, already has that web page open, but I'm going to show you. If you go to lilliputing.com and the description, uh, or the link will be in the description to this video, but if you go to lilliputing.com, I've got the list of files that you need here. And the easiest way to grab them is just to go to apkmirror.com and find the latest versions that are going to be applicable. Now, this tablet is running an operating system based on Android 9. So what we're going to want is the Google Account Manager, just the latest version, Google Services Framework, nine. We do not want any newer version than that. Google Play Services, and in that case you want a recent version that's compatible with ARM64 and Android 9 Plus, uh, and the latest version of the Google Play Store. So again, you can find all the details in the, um, in the article that I'm going to post a link to in the description of this video, but um, I'll just show you how this looks using the most complicated one. Normally what you would do is you download these and install them in order, but I'm going to take you to the Google Play Services link, just to show you what that looks like. Let's rotate this to get a slightly better view here. So this takes us to APK Mirror, and the reason that I'm not posting a link to a specific download, but rather to a list, is so that you can grab whatever the most current one is. So in this case, I don't want to use the beta one, and I don't want to use the one for Android TV, so I'm going to click on Google Play Services from June here. see available APKs, and then I'm going to look for one that works with Android 9 and supports ARM64, and this is the one then that I would choose to download. I'm going to go ahead and download that APK. Say yes. Open. And here's the installer. Now that's how it would normally work. I'm actually going to show you, I've already downloaded all of these files, and so I'll just sort of zip through them real quick in the rest of this video um, using the Files app. And so let's go ahead and install the first one. That's Google Account Manager. Done. Let's install the second one. That's Google Services Framework. Install. Done. Google Play Services. done, and the Google Play Store. Done. Now when you go back to the home screen, you'll notice that you've got another app here, which is the Google Play Store. If you just installed the Play Store without those other apps, it wouldn't necessarily work properly. But now, when I open the Play Store, it'll ask me, uh, it's actually asking me to sign in because I've already gone through this previously on this tablet, but if it's the first time, it'll uh, 
take a little bit longer to sort of load everything into place. Um, I also recommend probably rebooting the tablet after you've installed everything before you run it for the first time. But um, basically that's it. That's how you install Google Play, and then you have access to the Play Store on Amazon's latest tablet. Uh, these instructions actually work for most of Amazon's recent tablets, and it allows you to install applications that aren't necessarily available from Amazon's App Store. Uh, if you've already paid for applications or games, uh, music, videos, other things through the Google Play Store, you can access them on Amazon's tablet, and so on. Uh, I can't promise that you won't run into problems because this tablet was not necessarily certified by Google and it's running a custom version of Android called Fire OS. Some applications might not work, but basically it's, uh, you can see how quick and easy it is. It just takes a couple of minutes to go ahead and install the Play Store. Uh, it takes almost longer to log in and wait for Google to sync your data. So that's it. You can find uh, more details and step-by-step -step instructions in the description of this video. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing.com.